Hi, what we have here is the, the new BDPR 400 Speedy Roller from Black & Decker. Now when we get out of the box here, just comes a couple of parts. All you need to do is simply attach the head, like so. And then all you need to do is attach the roller head. Now it comes standard with a 9mm nap roller and that just simply fits on across the top. Now what you will find is a little sachet of Vaseline in here and that's just to give you a bit of lubrication for the roller to, to spin around. So you just put a little bit on there and there. And simply insert the roller head. So to fill the speedy roller up, all you do is simply attach the can clip to the side of the paint canister and using this tube here is just put this nozzle right across there. Now another reason for having the Vaseline in the pack is just to give a bit of lubrication here so it goes in very easily. Make sure it's fully inserted there and that will give you the best suction you can get. Now on first pull you won't fill the canister fully up and I'll show you why. Okay there we go. Now what you need to do is pump this paint down here to create a seal because it's sucking in air there. So once you put that in there, that now creates a seal, so the second time you do it, you'll get a full fill, nice and easy like that. Now what you also have is a splatter guard, so especially useful when you're painting above your heads, such as ceilings, and that just simply clips on the side of the, of the roller here, and in there, and you can obviously adjust that 360 degree rounds depending on where you're painting, and that's us now ready to go. To use it, you simply use it like you would a silicon sealant gun and that pumps the, the paint into the roller head and you'll see it changing colour in a minute. Once the paint starts to appear here, this is you ready to go, but the important thing is, is as you are applying the pressure, you keep the roller head moving, otherwise it builds up too much pressure inside. Another good thing is because of the length of the tube here, I don't need to stand on any step ladders or anything and I can reach up the ceilings. It's very very simple to put this back into the canister. Simply attach this nozzle here the way you would do to fill it up and rather than pulling you just push the nozzle and that puts all the paint from the tube back into the canister so you're not wasting any paint so once you've finished painting you've got this little kickstand here which uh, allows you to lie on the floor and then the splatter guard also acts as a drip tray as well so if any saturated paint in the roller starts to drip it's going to catch in there and not go all over the floor